Hello everyone, Aka Dave here for another installment of Back to the Future of the Game. When we left off, we were given a subpoena to give to Marty's grandfather. And that's gonna be great. Let's get to it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's talk to Emmett. About that yeah, subpoena. You deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always All sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. <laughs> and we don't want us expo you don't want us exposing ourselves. He <laughs> Ghostbusters. If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Hey, there's What's the, the lady. That can happen to me on the this Strickland job? lady. You can get See, right over there. Yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Oh, well, there was Einstein right there. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? We're yes. Two seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. Cause that's his name. Ha 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 ha. What do you know about Arthur McFly? Certified accountant. Graduated Hill Valley five classes ahead of me. Seems like a nice fellow, actually. How did he get mixed up with a guy like Kid Tannen? Who knows? Sometimes people find themselves stuck in situations they can't get out of. Like you? Huh. <laughs> Look on Marty's face. How about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep, that's a Tannin, all right. Yep, that's like every single iteration of Tannin in every movie ever. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. <laughs> you of all people should know that. Can we use something besides? You your engine design a little so it runs on something else. Like no. what? I don't know. Gas maybe. Gasoline. <laughs> Yesterday's news. You'll see. By 1940, automobiles will all run on pure alcohol. <laughs> no. Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? Ah, that'd be Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It was. A revelation. Yes, we all know yeah, you love Jules Verne. We figured. Have, Have you read, read the, the time, time machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. H.G. Wells. All right. We'll get that subpoena delivered. My name isn't Harry Callahan. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! He was really excited for that. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Einie? It's short for Einstein. Einstein, of course, because he was a patent officer just like you. Y yes. Let's talk to Edna. Nice, but Huffy? Huffy? I'm not Huffy. I'm passionate. Hmm. Passionate about justice, safety, law, and order. Uh, never mind. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go talk to Kid and get maybe my ass kicked what the sorry boss oh oops get out of here i was holding down the b button oh you huh i'm sitting at a shoe shine booth you walk up either you're here to shine my shoes or you got a death wish which is it both i guess i'm here to shine your shoes no not like that I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Really? You don't say. You don't seem like a soup kitchen, soup kitchen kind kitchen. of guy. Odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little hotter. I want to see myself in the toes. In the toes, Marty. I'm looking, I'm looking for, for Arthur McFly. I'm looking for a guy McFly. named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. 
Do you know where he is? Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where Which office? office? I forget. You forget? <laughs> Horrible liar. Do you know so when? When do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spy. Isn't that Artie's hat? Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Ew. Ar for all you know, Arthur McFly could have had lice, so you're eating lice-ridden peanuts. That's fucking gross. Can I buy that hat off you? hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Shoeshine boy. Hang on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. What the hell is that? Hey, kid. Yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> yes. Yes. What'd you do? Exciting music! Do, 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 do. Run! Run! Damn it, Emmett! Whoa! Who'd you learn to move like that? Oh no! I, it's not like I could go around that or anything! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Everybody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen. Because <laughs> uh, Tannins hate manure. Fix me up. Where do you learn how to move like that? Gentlemen, Sandlot Jack football. Thomas, good time, murder. Get out. Well. Time to walk around like this. I just love how the way he swings his arms. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. I guess I know how I'm gonna move the rest of the game. <laughs> My God, I'm gonna go talk to Abbott. I mean Doc Brown. Psst, Doc. I need booze. Your yourself needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Well, that could be a problem. I know. We're both underage. Underage, nothing. It's 1931, and alcohol has been outlawed throughout the country. Don't you know your history? To graduate from high school? I'm uh. kidding, Doc. It was a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, I'll never understand a teenage compunction to make a joke <coughs> of everything. And he almost have. Hmm. What are you doing in jail? Okay. Hang in there, Doc. Well. Okay, I'll stop. No, I'll never stop. Hey, Einstein, you're a dog. Sniff this. Hey, honey, come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Find my grandpa. Where's he going? Only one way to find out. Wait, can I do the thing? No. I was going to do the weird run. Can't, no. Whoa, we moved. Huh. Isn't this Edna's building? Yeah. Let's go to the buzzer.
Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Let's talk to McFly. Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? I've got something for You've you? I've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, oh, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. I will get you out of here, Mar... Mar... Arthur McFly, if it's the last thing I do. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? Uh, I got some important information. We got some important information for you, but we can't yell. <coughs> it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Well, your boss is an Sorry. asshole. Some other time. You know what? You know what? Fuck talking to you. I'm gonna buzz this buzzer. What now? Mm -hmm. All right, and then I'm going to show you the hat. Not time it's Arthur. Give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. God damn it! It's me again. Please come down. Why? We're a family. I'm your grand, uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you. But I can't leave this building till the boss says so. Sorry, some other time. Sorry, some other time. Aren't you getting sick of saying that? <laughs> well, uh, I think we're all out of time here. Um, yeah, we got a lot of a lot of accomplished. We got a lot of stuff accomplished. We learned how to do the crazy run. And, uh, we started talking to uh, Arthur McFly. That was great. Alright, well, this is Aka Dave, signing off. Bye bye